video, I got excited today because I saw this right here. And this is the Gamakatsu Taman Special or it is a hook specifically designed for one of my favorite fish to catch and fish for, which is the Spangled Emperor right there. And when I looked at the hook and looked at it closely, I saw that it was actually pretty thin. And hey, you know, ping, just an idea that can be used for jigging and that's exactly what we're gonna do today folks if you're new to the channel this channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing we cover everything from big game ultralight everything in the middle including fly fishing and today we are going to rig a 40 gram koika with this hook right here we're gonna rig two singles on this baby right here since it has an eye we're gonna be putting it like so and our binds are going to be at the back right here I'm gonna be using fishing braid and I'm going to be putting a thread base right here okay and I stop parallel to the point of the hook there we go now we have 80 80 pound um it was pe core but i took it off so spliced it like so and then this one's gonna be up front so what i'm gonna do or what i did was to cut it and then we'll thread it like so okay now what I'll do is I'll bring you guys in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here there we go okay so we have the thread base and then we have the cord and I did like two loose wraps I am going to go all the way to the back with the loose wrap capture the end right there like so and I'm going to put super glue on the sides and what's gonna happen is that it's gonna help fuse everything okay so that side right there on my side and then I'm going to put on your side like so and what's going to happen is that the cord will absorb everything and the bindings will absorb everything and we are going to trap it inside like that. And these wraps that I'm doing are very, very tight. Okay, touching turns. So every time I wind, the thread is actually right beside itself. The sides touch, that's why they're called touching turns. Now, we're going back, try to fill those gaps. As much as you can again this is very very tight just in case you want to hear how tight here okay see so he actually plays a note that is how tight it is and I'm wrapping I'm wrapping I'm wrapping and all I'm doing is actually pushing that glue inside each time I'm gonna keep on going just wrapping encapsulating everything now this is pretty saturated right there 
And if we've done it right, what's going to happen is that's also going to act as a top coat. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. Okay, there we go. And then do our wrap to finish that off. And then I'll cut it with a knife so it's flush. Now I'll take my. So, okay, you see that? right there no problem all you have to do is just take a lighter bang just like that and then spread the excess coat everything don't leave a nook or cranny without glue and what happens is that it basically plasticizes everything and it fuses it fuses with the shank of the hook so when the cord passes through the eye bends and uh, goes this way what happens is there's a, a friction fit there as well but when you put glue actually makes it even stronger so there there we go now uh, a lot of people don't like this, but we're in a hurry. You know, ideally, you put this to the side where there's no air movement and then it hardens. That's it. But since I need to show you guys almost instant, right? I have to actually put that on. Now, as you could see right there. Okay, so that looks really good all right so i'm gonna bring you guys in again so that you see exactly what i'm doing here and we're gonna start from scratch again okay so take the hook like so i'm gonna bring you guys in probably not as close so that you could actually see a lot more of the process so there we go Okay. Cut the excess. Then we have our. All right. So this I'm going to show you. If you don't trust. If you don't trust this. Okay. Here's an alternative. So. if you, Especially if you're new to this channel. Okay. So, take that. Let's put our bob in here. Okay, you take this and then make a wrap around like so. Okay, just a wrap. Take this here. Stick it in or go through the uh what do you call this go through the the loop you just created okay now what i do is take my flat nose pliers take a puller like so and then pull okay it should be in place and this knot compresses and then now you can actually wrap like so So that is something that you could use if you want the security of that knot. But I'm telling you, if you do this right, 
even without the eye, it actually works really, really well. So, if if that if this breaks or the line actually pops out, you did something wrong. Okay, there we go. Just so that the wraps have some protection. That thing's not going anywhere actually. There we go. If it's too much, just there we go. And that's it. As you can see, it's not any it's not going to be any complicated or any more complicated than that last build. Cut this. Now that's still wet. I'm gonna zap it. Uh, yeah, I have to say that actually kinda smells really bad. But that's it for this baby. Now we can install this right here. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, that's not going to hook each other right there. There we go. Okay. So there's our rig. Let me actually, uh, let me actually display it so that it looks really good. There we go. So our target, our target is Spangled Emperor Snapper or in Japanese, Taman. The Koika is really a very good jig for them. Okay. And these hooks designed specifically for them. Although I believe this is for bait. But because it's forged pretty good, strong enough so they don't bend. Awesome for singles. I wouldn't use uh, these as tandems. But yeah, that's it. If you've got questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Share this video if you want uh, your friends to learn with you. If you haven't yet, click on that subscribe button to learn more. And that's it for this video. If you want to support me and what I do, this channel, click on the join button. And that's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Class is missed.